Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the G80 series BMW M4 competition finished in this beautiful frozen Portimao blue. Absolutely love that color. It reminds me of my old C63. Uh, if you're following me on Instagram, you will have seen that. Um, right, before we get into this video, make sure you have hit that subscribe button. Go do it now. Great, you've done it. Perfect. Now, right, let's talk about this car. Right, let's... Um, we're gonna drive and talk, right? Let's sort out these settings because it's a bit stupid. This because you really have to. What we have to do is hit the setup button and then hit Sport Plus to make the exhaust note a bit. Right now that you've done that, let's go for a drive in this M4 and uh, tell you what I think of it. How good is it? How bad is it? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be very, very honest. Right, let's talk about this spec before we get into anything else. So this is the M4 competition. In the UK, we don't get the standard M4, we only get the competition packs uh, included. Um, that's across all of the M cars, so the M5, the M8, uh, the X5, M and the X6M, only come in the competition with the competition pack. So this car, 510 bhp out of a three liter twin turbo straight six engine uh we got a 0 to 60 time of 3.9 seconds it's a rear wheel drive vehicle now there will be an x drive coming soon there are also going to be a touring coming soon um so at the moment we've only got the the saloon and the coupe so the m3 being the saloon and the m4 being the coupe so this car uh, 88,475 pound. Um, it has got a comfort pack on it. It's got, wait for the ambulance. Right, it's got a comfort pack on it. So it gives you a heated steering wheel, electric tailgate and keyless visibility pack for those lights for the for the laser lights it's got the m carbon pack so exterior mirrors carbon carbon on the front and i think that little slip spoiler on the back is also um carbon and then you get these seats they look fantastic they're a nightmare to get into and they're even worse to get out of um i've i had this car three days four days four days i've had this car now and i'll tell you something i'm sick and tired of these seats they're great when you're in it um you feel all the bumps which you don't really want to do but yeah it's um they're more for the track i don't know why you'd order them as, a, as an everyday daily car it's also i think it's a seven thousand pound option a lot of money a lot of money for that the paint is three thousand pound um Three grand. But then again, if you're going to get a standard colour and you're going to get it wrapped, you're probably going to, it's probably going to cost you the same thing. So BMW have been a bit smart here and said, right, we're just going to allow you to order this colour. Factory, great. Um, it's a ZF gearbox. Got away from the double clutch that they had previously. It's, it's okay. There is some lag sometimes. Uh, but we're going to get on some open roads and uh, try and give it some in a second. This M4. As I said, nearly nearly ninety thousand pound. You know, by the time you register it and tax it and all the rest of it, it's a ninety grand car. I don't think this car is ninety thousand pound. In the world of uh, of uh, PCP brigade, then you know I don't know how much it is a month, but yeah, it'll work. so quickly that I have to slow down. 
straight-six engine, absolutely amazing. Needs a bit more noise, you know, I know it's a straight-six engine, so that's probably WLTP, EU ruled and all the rest of that. Needs a little bit more noise. Um, this, as I said, these seats have been a nightmare to live with, getting in and out. Um, it's not been the easiest. I, If I'm ordering this car, I'm ordering it with the comfort seats, the standard seats, um, because I think they'll do it for an everyday. This is more kind of, if you want to go around a track or drive stupidly. Um, yeah. It looks fantastic. It reminds me of, you know, a C63. The way they've now, the, the car sits. Oh, sorry. The way the car sits just reminds me of a C63. Um, you can put the power down to a certain degree. But that's it, that's as far as it's going to go, because you're running out of road. Such a, a handling in these BMWs, and more, I keep saying this, but I've got to, I'll, I'll keep admitting it. They handle so well. Um, this is a, a, a two-wheel drive, so they are, I have got a four-wheel drive, which will probably handle better, um, because I just feel that like if you're going around corners, I'm not a professional racing driver, but even with my uh, experience, I don't feel it's uh, it's good enough to go and push around a corner and not trying to go sideways on a public road. But the, the X drive, when that comes across, will be fantastic. That would be brilliant. Um, let's tell you some some funny bits on the fuel. So I filled this car up, and I had a range of 300 and. 83 miles and if you drive it a little bit excitedly you will uh, you will lose that straight away um, I've got over I've got just under three quarters of a tank at the moment it's telling me 142 mile range so you can tell how I've been driving it but it's just such a quick car such a quick car Instagram will know I've had a C63 as I mentioned earlier. Uh, I love that car, I'm a big fan of AMGs. For me, the, the 4 litre V8 which is available today, would, would, I'd pay for that again. Ouch. I'd, I'd pay money to have that engine again, that's not a problem at all. Um, the RS5, not for me. Not been a huge fan of the Audi brand. I haven't driven one in a little while, so unless Audi want to send me one, I can tell you. But you know, this is the C versus C63. I think on the current W205, C63 wins for me because of the engine, purely because of the 4 litre V8. Um, however, going forward, when the new C63 comes out and it's on par with one of these, I don't know how, I don't know what they're going to do, I don't know how they're going to do it, but. They'll do something magical with it because that's what AMG do. But this thing just handles a road so well. No noise, it's got a little burble there. But I think that might be artificial coming out the speakers more than anything else. Um, this would be nice on a racetrack. is heavier than the last M4. It now weighs over 1700 kilos, which is quite a lot for this kind of car, but there will probably be a lightweight CS model at some point. I think there's been some spy shots of it running around the Nürburgring. Um, yeah, it will, go, it will be really nice that car. It will be quick. 
this is this is 510 horsepower in this car is enough put on the x drive and i think you've got a really 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 aggressive competitor to that c63 um I, again we're not sure if the new c63 will come with a four formatic system Maybe, maybe from a price point perspective, it's supposed to rival the Porsches, but nah. With all due respect to BMW, if you can afford a Porsche, buy a Porsche, not buy a new Ford. In comfort mode, even the acceleration then is just bonkers. Um, it's, it's just crazy. So I'm, I'm in comfort mode now. The road's not the greatest. Um, I'm not feeling every bump, but the comfort seats for me would, would really do it. Um, but it's just... Where's 70 already? It's just stupidly quick in comfort. The gear changed. As I said, lag of a couple of seconds, that is it. That's all you're getting. Um, such a such a great car really really good car really handles the road really well what a job
one of these. This is a bonkers car. I'd love to get it on a straight on track just to see what we can get it to. I believe they're unrestricted to about 180 miles an hour. Um, but I will never know that. Unless I take it to Germany or uh, on the autobahns or on a track. Lucas, can we get on a track? Shit. Guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you if you now have done it. And I'll be back soon with another video. Something random I'm driving. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.